Hello everybody, I hope that you're doing very well and welcome back to another cryptocurrency technical analysis where in today's video I'm going to be going over the perfection that is a parallel channel and how this has defined the range uh, perfectly and uh, then I will be going over my targets for the uh, up and down sides. So hope that you thoroughly enjoy this one and let's start with reviewing yesterday's parallel channel which was very profitable and very nice. Okay, what we can see is the top pivot was formed off of our monthly level. Okay, so monthly level to support to resistance being around the golden pocket to seven six of this move we then saw a downwards slide overnight so then we're going from high to low to high to low to high to low okay so then on this pivot low what we've done is we moved up to the top of the parallel where we then saw a break retest of this parallel okay then what is very nice is what did we do here we saw another support resistance flip for a secondary expansion to the upside. We had increasing volume on this leg, increasing volume on this slight leg up. Okay, so we saw increase, 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 but breaking out of the pattern uh, or the top of the resistance, there was not an increase in volume. So we saw no increase in volume. We actually saw momentum dropping off as well. So what do what does one expect when they see a drop off of momentum upon a break? A swing failure pattern and a swing failure pattern is exactly what we got on that move so that was very nice um so that obviously gave us our swing failure pattern overnight and we saw a little push up a little attempt but in the end completely denied and you move down to retest the upward sloping channel here oh sorry downward sloping channel oh sometimes you'll notice this in a lot of my videos i'll just accidentally say the wrong word when i want to say bullish i'll just randomly say bearish when i want to say upward sloping i'll say downward sloping you have to uh um i, I just apologize for that i'll, I'll just say it now i apologize because i know that i do it a lot <laughs> and I've, i sometimes watch back a video and i'm just like daniel you've just totally said the wrong word you're going to confuse people um so apologies for that. And uh, let's continue on. Um, <laughs> so yeah, this downward sloping parallel channel, we obviously bounced off the top of that. <laughs> um, and then we saw a bounce up overnight. And, and I'll be honest with you, I see very little opportunity in this range. Okay, I'm going to go over two of the potential trades. I did not take these trades. I'll be totally transparent with you. I saw the reactions on why they're reacting. But uh, for me, I viewed l little opportunity in this range. And I prefer to use my time trading in another market. So I'll go through the market I was trading in a second. But um, yeah, obviously one can take trades here. But really in the whole day, you've had two trades. Yeah, two trades is decent, let's not lie, but uh, it's still a bit of a choppy range, okay, really choppy range. So for me, I view little opportunity in this, and I'm waiting for a bigger break, but let's go through why we bounced. As we, all, as we know, there's never ever a random pivot in trading. What do we have here? The upwards sloping parallel channel, got it right that time, with the downwards sloping parallel channel, a, consec a, a bit of confluence between the two, and also this uh, very nice a confluence of this resistance, resistance, resistance. And as you can see here, that is an exact bounce, okay, off of those closes. So they, that's that's your pivot low uh, coming up to exact midpoint of this upward sloping channel, okay, which is obviously from low to high to low to high to low to midpoint, rejection, falling down again, okay. So that's uh, pretty simply all you've got there on Bitcoin throughout the day. Uh, and now I, I, I'm not in a trade right now on it because I just see so little opportunity trading this now. Uh, I'm, I'll, uh, yeah, let me cover that in a second, but I just view little opportunity in here. I'm a trader that's very, uh, in, in a sideways range, as you'll know, in this overall sideways range that we're in. Uh, I'm not jumping into a, a trade when we are literally within this tiny little block of the lower of our upward sloping channel. Personally, I do not see a need to trade this chop. And I'll wait for more clarity and then I'll jump back into a, another, you know, trade once I see more clarity. And that is for me, uh, the uh, monthly resistance top here, which is going to be sat at 10,761. Okay, 10,761. You can see on the hourly, no closes above that. Okay, and then support still remains at 10,319. Okay, um, you know, unless something springs up overnight here and we do get a nice setup going. Uh, I see no nice setup here, I'll be honest. But if we do see a nice setup, I'll gladly, I will gladly start to trade the range again. But until then, I'm waiting for either a move down to support and see a bounce off of this or lose it or a move up to monthly and reclaim or reject. So I am now just, uh, you know, being a patient trader. You have to remember in trading, you know, half of it is being patient and waiting for the setup. So the way I view it, uh, take this as you will. I'm a successful trader, but you don't have to listen to me. But I really set, think that it's a very good idea that when something is choppy like this, you wait for the setups to come to you. You do not go chasing. You do not have to be in a trade every single second of the day. Please remember that if you are uh, finding yourself in a trade every single second of the day, one could speculate that maybe you're over trading. I don't know. But, um, you know, personally, I would say it's you're much better waiting for the setups. OK, is there a setup right here at this price? No. So if you are trading right here at this price, 
is it feeling to you like you're over trading? I don't know. Maybe just think about it. Uh, personally, I don't see a nice setup here. I, I would really recommend, you know, you want to take your setups, you want to do the technical analysis and then obviously execute your trade once you've got a requirement hit. I mean, if you've got a criteria that hits a requirement here, then absolutely take the trade. But uh, uh, yeah. Moving on. Uh, so what have I been trading today? I've been finally, 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 this break of this range on uh, the S&P finally broke. And it feel, just feels like we've been in it for one month, just sideways round, range round. And that was obviously from the 618 here. Um, so yeah, that was a that was pretty nice that we finally got the gap up. Okay, so I went straight into Twitter. I was in a I'm in a long on Twitter. I'm in a long on Nvidia, and I'm in a short on Intel right now. So those were my positions. Obviously, I was just speculating that we could break here. Obviously, what we can see here is a partial partial decline. Okay, partial decline, partial decline, higher low, higher low, higher low. Start consolidating under resistance. You gap through. So that was very nice uh, seeing that come today. So we gapped through on the S and P. Uh, so yeah, I just kind of went went into scalping on the uh, on those three stocks. So I'm in a long, two longs and one short on those. Uh, and yeah, I'll, I'll obviously see how we close out today. But uh, that was obviously a move up potential flag going on here. So you have to view a potential flag uh, as it stands. Okay, gap up. You know, you don't have to fill these gaps straight away. People love to trade gaps but you know i wouldn't say this has to be filled straight away you have to look at a bull flag first for a little bit of continuation it's obviously pretty bullish that you have uh formed those series of high lows the consolidation to then gap up anyway i'm not trading the SP itself i'm not trading that index i'm trading the three stocks as mentioned before uh so that was really why i have been trading less on bitcoin today uh, because there's just so much opportunity on that range <laughs> literally um so yeah i will come back to trading bitcoin once this uh, gets a little bit more of a, a a favorable setup let's just say when when i have the odds in my favor of winning <laughs> okay i don't trade for fun i trade for money at the end of the day um so yeah that's everything that i wanted to cover in this video so i'd say yeah wait for maybe a come down to the, one of our monthlies or top monthly that still remains uh, the range that we are in overall sideways here a little bit of chop today. Yesterday was absolutely perfect trading, by the way. So this was technically perfect. It's just this little bit of chop that we've seen today is, is not as nice as this. Okay. Obviously, one could say the the move from here to here that would have been two, you know, two trades, the long and the short. Uh, but overall, for me anyway, uh, more opportunity in, in the other markets today, at least. Uh, you know, hopefully we'll get some. Uh, We'll get some nice moves and coming back to Bitcoin in the next few days. Um, but I uh, hope that you have enjoyed this quick update. Bit of a quicker one. Um, uh, yeah, and that is everything that I wanted to mention, basically. Um, thank you so much for watching today's video. If you have enjoyed it, uh, I would appreciate a like uh, or a... Uh yeah, a like is fine by me. I would be very appreciative of that. And I would say thank you, sir, very much. I uh, hope you've enjoyed this video, everybody. I'm going off a bit, a bit of a challenge. And I'm, I'm very happy today. I must say, I am very happy today. Like, things are going very well. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> I, I'm happy. And if that makes you happy, I hope so. Because I like to see happy people. All about positivity. All about happiness. And, uh, you know, I am obsessed with trading. And now I have like a trading family and everything is just so good. I love life. I love trading. I hope that you are very well. I hope that I can transfer my happiness to you. And you have a big smile on your face now. If I have, mission accomplished. If you are very upset while watching this video, um, condolences. And uh, I would say, if you want some happiness... Then, what can we do for you? What I can do is I can say, um, wait for a nice setup to come. Wait for the nice setup to come. Take the setup, win the setup, and you will have a big smile on your face. Um, I'm ending the video now because I feel like I'm talking for no reason. Thank you so much, and I'll catch you in the next video. <laughs> Thanks. Bye. <laughs>